What options are available for a young adult when they age out of the foster care system? A new program aims to ease that transition. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Vicki Brodenbach. She's executive director for CASA of Ocean County. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. CASA is court-appointed special advocates. Talk to us a little bit about the traditional role of this program and how you help young people in the foster care system. Okay. Um, CASA of Ocean County is one of 15 programs throughout the state of New Jersey. And what we do is we um, train everyday concerned citizens. They're not people with background from social work. They're just everyday concerned people from our community who donate 20 hours a month to serve as court-appointed special advocates for children in foster care. Currently in Ocean County, we have uh, 711 children in foster care. And due to our limited resources, because we're a very small nonprofit organization, um, primarily federally funded um, with budget cuts, you know, that we've experienced, we can only advocate for about 82 of those children. And what do these volunteers actually do? How do they work to advocate for these children? Well, initially they, they undergo a 30-hour mini um, social service program, a training curriculum, uh, so they know how to advocate on behalf of these abused and neglected foster children. So, so the kids that are in foster care are not just foster children, but they've already been victims of abuse and neglect. So the volunteers are trained on how to um, meet with these children. They meet monthly. They uh, report objectively to the judge on their findings of what they may find in the foster home, make sure that all their needs are being met, and they'll visit schools, they'll visit with doctors and other family members. Um, so typically what the role of this advocate is, is to serve as the um, child's voice, voice in the court system. And to be that consistent, supportive adult as right, well. Right, right. A caring, compassionate adult that um, can serve uh, as a role model for them. And you focus on children of a variety of different ages, but you have a new program, and this is Aging Out Youth in Foster Care Project for children who are older who are in the foster care system. Talk to us about the importance of this program and why you're focusing on older children. Okay, um, out of the 711 children, about 111 of them are uh, children ages 14 to 21. This age group is um, especially vulnerable because they have been in the foster care system the longest. Um, they typically are bounced around from foster home to foster home they have behavioral problems. Um, they may suffer from post-traumatic syndrome um, because they've been in severe abusive situations. So this high-risk group that we're starting this project for, uh, we seek to help these children move and transition out of uh, foster care and get ready to become responsible adults. And you're actually uh, looking to mentor these children and uh, have activities that can help them make this transition. Everything from how to have a checking account to how to seek out health care. Right, right. That's exactly what we're going to do. We have 15 new program volunteers that we've trained and they're all going to be assigned um, children aging out of foster care. They're going to work with them for one year we have um, foundations and, and local support to help these kids set up a bank account, help them to make their budget, um, give them information on how to connect with vocational school and continued education, um, fill out college applications, and uh, access health care, and a series of activities over the course of the year that are just going to prepare them to become um, responsible adults and break the cycle of abuse in their lives. And we just have a few seconds left, but you say this can become critically important because many of these young people may not realize that these services are out there. Right, and we're going to encourage them that they are entitled to services till they're 21 years of age and, and help them with their futures. Thanks so much for being with us. Okay, thank you. We've been talking with Vicki Berlin-Bach. She's executive director for CASA of Ocean County. I'm Jill Horner.